Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we are going to learn tens and units with numbers up to ten. So let's begin with our first example. Now I'm going to draw a very simple abacus. You've probably seen this in school, on worksheets and maybe on some children's programs as well. There is our abacus. Now we're going to put beads or circles on either the right one or the left one. We're going to label them first. The one on the right is called units. These are the units. The one on the left is called tens. So we've got tens and units. Now let's suppose we have our first number and the number is 3 now our task is to put this onto the abacus so we're going to draw beads on there we have to draw 3 we draw 3 on the right hand side 1 I'm actually doing this slightly big 2 3 there are 3 beads here and the number 3 has got 3 units. It really is as simple as that. Let's have a look at our second example. Again, I'm going to draw the abacus. We're going to label it tens and units. And this time we're going to draw the number 7. We start on the right hand side, we draw 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now I want you to note something. On each of these, the maximum you can have is 9. You can't have more than that. That's the maximum number of beads that are allowed in the units or the tens or any other column. So seven. Seven in the in the number seven there are seven units. How many tens are there? Well there's zero. There are no tens in the units column. We're going to look at the tens in a moment. Let's look at our third example. Again. We're going to draw the abacus. This time we're going to label it just with capital letters. We've got T for tens and U for units. That's how it's typically done. Tens and units. Now this time we're being asked to draw five beads. Five beads. Again, we start on the right hand side. We draw one here, two, three, four, five. So we've got five beads. So the number five has got five units. In fact, we can even just write down here, it's got zero tens. We don't have to, but this is how we're explaining it. There are zero tens. There are five units, but there are zero tens. Okay going to look at one final example. This time we're going to introduce the tens. Again, first things first, we're going to draw our abacus. Label it tens, units, and you should try drawing this as well. It's just very good practice. Okay, and this time we're being asked to draw ten. 10. So how do we draw 10? Well, if we start on the right hand side, the units must have 0. There it is. We can even write it at the bottom here. 1, 0. That's 10. The right hand column has got 0. The left one, tens, there should be 1. So we finally got 1 over here in the tens. 
So the 10, number 10 has got 1, 10 and 0 units. It's got 1, 10 and 0 units. So that is the introduction to tens and units with numbers up to 10.